The North study is a randomised phase two study of erdofitinib versus erdofitinib plus citrilimab in frontline metastatic urothelial cancer patients with FGFR alterations. The patient population that we explored was frontline metastatic disease. Patients were had to be ineligible for cisplatin-based chemotherapy. They also required to have FGFR alterations. We sent the tissue off the lab and did molecular analysis on that tissue. The patients were enrolled irrespective of their PDL1 status. The study compared two drugs, erdofitinib, which targets FGF, plus the trilimab, which is a PD1 inhibitor, versus erdofitinib alone. The study plans to enrol 90 patients. This is an interim analysis after 40 patients. What we showed from an efficacy perspective was the combination had a response rate of 68%, while the monotherapy had a response rate of 33%. Confidence intervals were, right, were wide, obviously, in both arms, because the numbers are modest. But with the combination of erdofitinib plus atrilimab, we showed responses, some of which were durable. We showed some complete responses as well. And actually, over 90% of patients had disease control. These efficacy data look promising compared to historical controls and indeed the single agent arm. The adverse event profile from the single agent showed grade three or four toxicity of 38% and 50% in the combination. Moreover, we had discontinuations of two patients in both arms had to stop both drugs. Seven patients in the combination arm stopped one drug or the other. The adverse event profile was in line with expectations for both drugs. Overall, the NORSE trial was the first study to describe in a randomised manner single agent FGFR inhibition versus the combination of FGFR plus PD-1. It showed the combination of erdofitinib plus atrilimab in individuals with FGFR alterations was active with a response rate of 68%. This is probably higher than we expected, although the data is quite preliminary. And it suggests to me that this is a combination we need to be exploring in the future. And I'd like to see this now move on to randomised phase three studies and change practice.